Blackpink could come and slay every motherfucker on the earth, but but they gonna come up and give us a fucking EP, bitch. Where's the album? I need the album. Straight up now, tell me, do you really wanna love me forever? Oh oh oh, or is it just the hit and run? <laughs> hey, we got a good thing. Don't know if I'ma see you again. Can you see me enough? It's kind of dark. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Amber. Okay, I've been gone <laughs> because I'm still in the process of trying to get a freaking uh, camera. And the best option I have is using my phone. I don't even have good places to record anymore. I mean, well, the sun is down, so I'm not able to record in my room and it's a lot, okay? So here I am in my living room, and that's probably where I'm going to be for a little while <laughs> until I can get everything set up and everything. But Blackpink just released their uh, music video, Kill This Love, and their EP, and I'm so excited. I'm ready. <sighs> I'm nervous. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to feel. But I don't even know when this video was gonna be up, but here we go, we're gonna watch it right now. I'm sorry, the angle is bad. Everything's bad. <laughs> Whatever, okay, we in the struggle right now. So we're gonna go ahead and watch Kill This Love, okay? Are you ready? I'm not, but we're gonna do it anyway. The video is going to be chopped up due to copyright claims, okay? Don't wanna get copyrighted, so I'm sorry about that, but it is what it is. Blame YouTube, okay? Anyway, with all that said, with all that done, let's do this. Okay. Okay. She really floated down. I'm sorry. Ooh, oh, the long ponytail is. I love Lisa with every bit of my heart, but who told her <laughs> to get this hair? <laughs> Damn, I didn't even put the caption on. No, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Look, I'm so. Oh my gosh. Look at her face. Okay. 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 Shit. <laughs> my eyes are tearing up. What the fuck? Okay, let's go. Oh, it's my allergies. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, look at it. Oh my gosh. Just so pleased. Oh, wow. Well, they on a mission. Oh, shit. Who broke her heart? She's going to go beat they ass. <laughs> She's gonna go hit him. Oh wait, did she hit him? Okay, okay, them in the black. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yo, Jiso is killing me. I love the ponytail. The ponytail. The braided ponytail. They look so rich. The rappers. The rappers together. Damn. Oh, that. <laughs> Why are they so pretty, bro? Oh my gosh. I love that 
last scene, the colors were just so pleased. Oh shit. They they trying to kill somebody. Oh well, kill this butt. Oh, okay. They in a bear trap. Oh. Jenny in this ponytail. I like that outfit. I like the yellow incorporated. Oh, yeah. first time watching me I love black pink so much like seriously like I am so in love with that group and I love each and every one of them this has to be my favorite music video and they have they have so many good music videos but this music video this era this whole era this song alone tells me that this whole era is going to be a different level of snatch bitch if you thought you were snatched with anything else bitch you ain't felt this snatch <laughs> until you made it to this music video until you made it to this era of black pink black pink see that's what i'm saying man that's what's making me upset black pink could come and slay every motherfucker on earth but but they gonna come up and give us a fucking ep bitch where's the album i need the album and i need to see them perform this specific song with this specific energy with these outfits with the hairstyles with God. And they will, they will eat, okay? Like, they ate, they ate in this video. I can't, this video hard. I cannot, like, <laughs> I can't stress that enough. Everything about this music video was, like, a completely different level. And it seems like, to me, they level up in every single era. And this is just visually, this era is my favorite, like, holy shit like i can't i cannot they had so many different outfits it was ridiculous and it seems like everybody had their own little piece in the video which we love equality and everybody it seemed like everybody had their own little like it wasn't just centered on one person or like one person had more camera uh, presence than the other or something like it seems like everybody equally had their time with the camera and them together them on the wall I'm sorry I'm still stuck with them on the wall like am I straight what the fuck like <laughs> they was really on that wall like I can't just how they was lined up it's like kill this love bitch like you killed a lot of things but but the love man I don't know okay to be completely honest with you I couldn't fully read the lyrics because my phone is in front of my computer so I didn't really know necessarily what they were saying unless they were saying words in English unfortunately I still saw some mixed reactions and maybe those reactions will change as more people uh, watch it and everything because even though it's quite a few people who have seen it it's still not a lot in a way because I don't see it I don't see it I don't see the mixed reactions for what for what? Like I thought they ate. Like I thought that I thought everything about the video was perfect. Like it was everything I could have ever wanted. They looked rich. Hello. <laughs> rich. Like they was like, this is the money we got. This is the money we making. And I'm like, bruh, this is the money you making? Okay. 
Okay. My only issue with the video was the one hairstyle with Lisa. Um, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh my gosh, why? And everything. I genuinely feel like people who feel that way don't 100% get it. And that's okay. It's okay if you don't get it. It's okay if you don't understand it and everything. But I didn't like the braids on Lisa. Um, I don't know whose idea it was to give her those braids. But please know. Um, it, I personally didn't even think it looks good on her. Uh, clearly not knocking anybody. I love everything about Blackpink. I love Blackpink. I'm a blink bitch. But it's like, you know, the hairstyle is a little skeptical. I'm not with it, you know. I don't. I didn't like it. And they, they could have gave her a different hairstyle. I, I, just, I just didn't like the hairstyle. I thought, I just think that just needs to, I'm just going to leave it at that. How about that? But other than that... <laughs> Jenny, I don't know what it was with Jenny and this ponytail. Like, I acted like I've never seen Jenny with a ponytail. But I don't think I've ever seen Jenny with a ponytail that was not only that long, but was that fierce. Like, she was working that motherfucking ponytail. Like, it's like, it was like a deadly ponytail. Like, I don't know. It was a, it was a whole different level of bad bitch. Like, <laughs> when I first reacted to Blackpink, I was like, these are some bad bitches, but... I mean, <laughs> we better be at the Blackpink 2017. 2017 Blink Me is quaking because 2019 Blackpink bitch is on a completely other scale of bad bitch. Like, that's the whole, like, they invented the word bad bitch in this era. Like, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. I really can't. Just so with her beautiful ass was killing me. <sighs> And just her verse. I like how she came in and she was in the sun. Like, everything about it was just, I just, I couldn't. Rosé, I don't know who hurt Rosé's feelings, but she was finna go murder somebody. <laughs> um, I forgot who had the bow and arrow. I think it was Jenny, but she was finna murder somebody, which makes sense because they said kill this love. I don't know who broke their heart, but they they finna break their face because <laughs> black people on the way, they on the way. But, um, yeah. Anyway. That was me reacting to Kill This Love music video, and it was amazing, and I loved everything about it, and it was fantastic. I just, I, you know, a, a 9.8, if you will. <laughs> uh, let me know how y'all felt about the music video. It will be linked in the description down below so that y'all can go watch it for yourself and everything like that. So go check out Blackpink. If you don't know who Blackpink are, go look them up. So yeah, I'm going to attempt to listen to their EP and react to it and everything. I don't I have people coming so I'm trying to watch it before uh they start walking in my house. Yeah, um the first song the first song was Kill This Love so since we had already uh watched it, we're going to go ahead and go to Don't Know What To Do and I'm going to watch that and I'm going to read the lyrics and everything like that, okay? Cool. <laughs> Singing Lisa, that just hit me. I was like, starting to build up. Oh, okay, it kind of EDM a little bit. <laughs> My lips, I draw, are blue. Is she saying she dead? Because the song is sad, like the lyrics are sad, but then they have this. But then they want you to do dubstep, and it's like, wait. The memories I draw of you are blue. So the memories are dead. Are they finna? I don't know. No. Oh. <laughs> I was expecting because. Okay. <laughs> That song ended so abruptly, I was expecting it to have a, another, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. Whenever I re-listen re to it, it did kind of sort of sound like it should have ended. But I think what I was expecting was, I was expecting for the sound to fade out. 
but it didn't. Like the sound abruptly ended. Like right after she was done with her lyric, the the song stopped. Like the sound, like the melodies and stuff had stopped, and it was just like what? Like I guess it it felt like it needed to fade out. Like you know when she's like the memories I draw are blue, and then it's like you. Or something, and it like carries on for like another five seconds, and then it vanishes. But nah, it just went to dead silent right after she said the last word. Okay, <laughs> I think uh, "Don't Know What to Do" is a different song for Blackpink because they don't have a lot of EDM-ish kind of music, so uh, that's a little different. I think it's probably inspiration from their kiss and makeup with Dua Lipa because that one was kind of EDM-ish a little bit to me so I think they were probably that they probably got inspiration from it uh possibly I don't know maybe they just wanted to dabble into it and do something a little new but it is completely different from Kill is Love but I see why they had it right after each other girl groups tend to do that but I like it because you'll have like this really hardcore strong Kill this love, I will beat your ass. Then they'll have this really slow song right after it that's like, you know, that it's like the realization starts to sink in. You like, damn, he's really gone. <laughs> and I think that's that's what this song is resembling to me. So I think it's a really good right after the hardcore song. So we'll see if that's the pattern that the whole EP is probably following. So we'll go ahead and go to their next song, Kick It. But you see what I'm saying? Following a pattern. Okay, singing Lisa, I win. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, she ate. Oh, <laughs> she ate that. <laughs> okay, English rap, I'm with it. I'm assuming Jenny gonna rap too in a little bit. Yeah, I love, I love it. Yeah, I love that. Let it all out, girl. Oh, okay. Get up. Yeah. You see how that song faded? I'm sorry. <laughs> that song faded out though. Okay. Love this one. I really did. Uh, I think it had a lot of different tone changes to it. And so it was different. Like it had a lot of different beats to it, which I thought was really really cool of course there were some parts of it i was like oh okay but the pattern that i was talking about that i am seeing that it is following you know it has this hardcore strong he broke up with me what oh my gosh no he did it we're gonna go kill him you know and then you're just like i can't believe he really you know he's really gone this is crazy and so kick it is more of a you already had your cry you already cried about what happened and now you coming back to life. Now you just like, okay, well, at the end of the day, I'm still, I'm still boss. I'm still a boss bitch. So, you know, fuck you. And I, <laughs> you know, it's just like, you know, whatever, you know, like I'm tired of you and I'm tired of all your, your, your shit. So it's like, I'm gonna do me. And that's, you know, that's how it's gonna be. Like you moving out, so I'm gonna move out, you know, pretty much. So I'm with it. I liked it. I like how a lot of the melodies went with the beat because the beat was slow, but then it had its little pickup and then it didn't. It was a lot that was going on, but it went so well and I, I really did enjoy it. I really, really did. So um, we're going to go to their last song. Hope not. Okay, let's see. I am in love with singing Lisa. Ooh, the Atlas. Interesting. Okay. Interesting, okay. 
Okay, so it's kind of a roller coaster relationship, EP. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, I like the the alleys that go into it. Okay. Okay. So my theory still stands. <laughs> it's just that they're on a roller coaster of emotions with whatever happened, pretty much. Because the Hope Not song is you thinking back on the relationship you had with that person. And whenever they had said, for you, it's okay that I'm hurt or something. For you, it's okay that I'm hurt because I know how much I hurt you when we were together or something. And I'm like, oh, okay. So here it is. He broke up with her. Killed his love. She couldn't believe it because she was probably planning on breaking up with him. So she couldn't believe that he broke up with her. So when killed his love, she's like, okay, well, I'm finna murder you. And then whenever she came back to Earth, she was like, I really cannot believe that he actually broke up with me. Am I really that bad? No, you know, I can't be, you know, crying in the, in the don't know what to do song. And then they had Kick It, and then Kick It was like, okay, well, I'm gonna kick you to the curb, just like how you kick me to the curb. I'm good, you know, I'm good now, it's whatever, you know. I really don't give a fuck anymore, you know, blah, blah, blah. But then Hope Not comes, and then it's like she reflected. It's like then she started reflecting on it because she still was stuck on the fact that he probably broke up with her and was like, why? And she probably reflected on it and thought about it and was like, you know what? I probably would have broke up with myself too, pretty much. So that's kind of what Hope Not is. And that she's trying to hide her feelings whenever she's like, but when I see you, I'll smile like nothing happened. So she's hiding the fact that she's sad, even though she really is sad deep down. And she was like, you know, I hope you find somebody who makes you happy because you deserve it because she thought about how badly she treated them. So... It's a little roller coaster of emotions, a, a big old wave of emotion that's washing them away, pretty much. The entire EP is what that is. So, uh, but I liked it. I thought it was very mature. I thought it was a mature EP, honestly. Even though their last EP was last year, it still seemed like it grew from that one on a maturity level, you know? So it does kind of seem like they're, this is like a mature era, which I'm with it, you know? Um... None of it seemed kind of like childish, I guess. I feel like all of it was pretty realistic. All in all, I liked the EP. I liked Blackpink's EP. I thought it was really good and I thought it was really well structured and it didn't have, you know, like a whole lot of, oh, let's have fun, you know, which is fine. You know, that's how I know that it was more serious to them. Um, even though Kill This Love was, yeah, and you know, Kick It, Kick It was kind of like mild. Like you could listen to Kick It and not get in your feelings, I guess. And you could listen to Kick It and not get in your feelings and not feel like you can, you know, go go rob a bank. So I think it was a good middle where you where you can chill out to it, and then the other two songs were more in your feelings. Like don't listen to those if you've been in, in if you've recently broke up with somebody. <laughs> pretty much, you know. Uh, I say pretty much a lot. But, um, all in all, I did like their EP. I think they're doing great, and I'm, I'm proud of them. To so all my Blinks who are watching, let me know how you felt about the EP. Did you like it? Uh, did you wish there was more? Did you wish there was less? Uh, anything like that, let me know. Uh, I don't know when they're going to be having an album, but it better be soon, because you can't have all these songs and not have an album. Like, I know y'all have more songs in the background, so why they ain't put structure together in an album, you know? I don't understand. Blackpink are mistreated, period. So... We're just going to leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all have an awesome day, an amazing day. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. And I wish you to see you all next time. Remember, keep your head up and smile. And always know that somebody has your back. Bye, guys.